Well, I hadn't planned on making a video because there's a lot of videos out there on headlight restoration, but um, these are pretty bad. And everything I've seen online for the most part has been for like one or two step um, restorations where you kind of get a kit from Walmart or wherever, AutoZone, and you kind of go and clean them up. Um, these ones are really bad. I tried to use one of those kits and it wasn't doing the job. It still, they still look pretty bad. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I did to take a light like this and turn it into this. And I'll kind of show you what I was looking at beforehand. You can see this is pretty bad. And this is already cleaned up. It's already been washed. Um, there's a lot of really heavy, just feels like sandpaper. Like the, the surface is really pitted really bad. If you look, there's some really fine, let's see if I can get a better view here. There's some really fine like scaling in there, if you can see it. And so the clear coat on this is almost gone completely. Someone else had tried to restore them before I did, before we bought this car. And um, they're just pretty bad. So basically going from this um, to this with just some stuff I had here at the house. And I went to Walmart and grabbed some sandpaper. So what I've been using, made myself a little station here because it gets a little bit messy. I'm just basically doing, um, stepping down. And I started all the way down at 400 grit which sounds aggressive, I know, but man, it, it needed to be done. Uh, so I'm just going 400 to 600 to 1,000 uh, to 2,000, or 1,500 and then 2,000 grit, just using my palm palm sander here, nothing fancy. And it worked really well. And just using a bottle of, of water to spray to keep it lubricated. And I'm doing, um, doing dry sanding um, up to 1,000 grit. And then when I jump from 1,000, or sorry, when I get to 1,000, I start using the wet, the wet sanding uh, just because it it gets too hot and burns up and sticks to the pad so and then from there i'm jumping basically just to some polishing compound from turtle wax and then the final step is this plastic x from mcguire's and i will say i really don't notice a huge difference going from here to here i think you'd be fine just using this uh, and then i'm using these three inch pads on my milwaukee drill you can buy them on amazon they're just a foam pad uh, I just been kind of using the yellow pad. It's kind of a semi, um, cutting pad to use with the turtle wax here. And then I've been using the white softer pad with the plastic X, but again, not a huge difference. If you're really, really anal, you might want to do it. Um, I just, man, just looking at it from using just the turtle wax, it looks really good. So I'm just gonna kind of do this headlight here, just a little time lapse. And I'm, like I said, I'll, I'll kind of stop and talk when I'm going and tell you what I'm doing and just kind of show you how simple the process is. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is just start out here with the 400 grit. And they don't quite fit on my orbital. I got these at Walmart, uh, just they were three bucks a pack. And uh, I'm gonna take my 2000 off. And I just kind of fold them so they fit on the onto my hand sander here. I just kind of fold them under. And they don't fit perfect, but they're good enough for what we're doing. And I recommend wearing a dust mask for this. I'll be doing that as well. I want to point out here right off the bat, you can see where the clear coat is still intact and where it's not. Uh, if they're not good, the clear coat's almost all the way gone. So we just got to take that all the way down to the plastic. And when we're done, we're going to have to coat them with some, uh, with a plastic or with a, a headlight clear coat again, too, because this clear coat's going to be completely gone. It's mostly already gone anyway, so it's not, we don't have much of a choice. I'm going to go and throw it in the time lapse. the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 don't need a bank no I'm funded play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something. okay that was the 400 kind of show you it's gonna look really really hazy it's gonna be probably a little unnerving when you see it the first time but you gotta trust the process so we're gonna go from here I'm gonna jump into the uh, 600 grit I'm going to grab me a fresh piece here, and we're going to hit this with 600, and then we'll just keep on moving up. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted. Stay humble. Now wake up. It's time to look at the enemy. Look in the mirror. He is no friend of me. 
It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind, cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Alright, that's the uh, 600 grit done as you can see when I'm doing it, try not to set in one spot too long. You don't want to burn the plastic, so just keep the sander moving. And I kind of go a long ways and I kind of go across, just kind of perpendicular to the, the first pass. Um, so now we're going to jump into, because I don't have any 800 grit, so I'm going to jump into the uh, 1000 with wet, wet sanding. And I just have a spray bottle full of water and I'm just going to basically keep the, keep the surface wet um, as I'm sanding. Just make sure it doesn't get dry because it'll start to ball up on your sandpaper. Um, so just keep it, you know, spray it, sand for about 20 seconds and then spray it again. Just keep it really wet. So, um, and then also, you know, I'm using an electric sander, so I'm going to be careful not to spray it on the sander itself and just try to make sure I keep it on the light. Uh, just, just so you know, you don't want to mix electricity and water too much, but, uh, my sander stayed pretty dry last headlight. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, and this part's a lot, this part's a lot less dusty since you're using the water. So you can probably lose the dust mask for this part. Uh, I do recommend though when we get to the uh, buffing that you're gonna wear safety glasses and, and the proper safety stuff so you don't wanna sling something in your eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the 1000 grit and do some wet sanding here. All right, so I got my 1000 grit on here and I'm, what I'm gonna do is basically just kinda lubricate the uh, surface with the water. And this is just plain tap water. And then just seems like normal. And this is where you'll start seeing the, the clarity come back. And I'm always thankful for something, don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time Okay, that's our thousand grit See, it's starting to clear up finally uh, Clean it off pretty good and just kind of see if you missed any spots. Looks pretty good. Um, so at this point, when you get down here, I'm gonna jump to 1500 grit. So the 1500, you're gonna wanna make sure you keep it wet, uh, a lot more wet, just because I've noticed as you get um, smoother and smoother, there's less pores in the, um, in the plastic and the water seems to dry up faster because it doesn't just set on the surface like it does um, when it's got all the scratches and the and the pits in it from the sandpaper and from the previous damage. So just make sure you keep an eye on it so it doesn't get dry. Uh, that's that's your biggest enemy in, in, in these final steps. When you're wet sanding here, you don't want to get it dry because then you will kind of maybe have to step back down and, and fix some damage done from the, from the heat. So I'm gonna jump to the 1500 grit now and just continue the same way, just keep it wet and keep sanding. Time and some clarity to find your identity, it's mind over everything. Okay, now we're going to jump. That was our 1500. We're going to jump to 2000. And this will be our last sanding step before we move to the polisher. And here we go with the 2000. Okay, so here's where we're at after the 2000. 
See, it's looking pretty good. It's starting to clear up quite a bit. Kind of see. Still got that haze to it though. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, have, there's this foam, there's these foam sanding pads you can get like at AutoZone. Um, I think Walmart has them too, actually. I just, I cut them to fit my uh, buffing pad, my Velcro pad. You can get these to go in any drill, but you don't have to do this step, but I'm just gonna do the 3000 grit just before I do the buff. Uh, you could also do the 3000 grit on your actual uh, sander like I was doing, but I have this, so I'm gonna use it. Um, I'm just gonna do a wet sanding with a 3000 and then we'll jump to the compound. So here we are after the uh, 3000 grit kind of polishing pad. It looks already looks way better than it did. I mean, it's not clear yet, but it's got a still got a slight little haze to it. But this next step will make the biggest difference. So I'm just going to get it dry and then I'm going to jump up here to the um, turtle wax uh, polishing compound and I'm going to use that on a uh, buffing pad here. All right, so I'm just going to put some on my pad here. Make sure I got enough. And this first part's going to be a little tricky. This bottom piece. I'm just going to start the polish here. we keep it keep enough compound on there too so we're not just running a dry sponge or dry pad you can see that's really starting to get clear now if you can tell compared to the upper and we're just going to continue that on the rest of the light here you're gonna be hurting back, cause I've been to hell and back You don't wanna make me mad, I stay strong You will never see me crack And if you get in my way, you're gonna feel the wrath Gotta say it to my face while he's looking back Mirror breaks after math, when I hate, I attack Okay, so that was the polishing compound Let's kind of wipe it off here And honestly, we could stop right here, this looks really good I'm going to go ahead just because I have it here. I'm just going to do a real quick pass with the um, with the Meguiar's Plastic X or Plastex. Um, just because I have the pad here already, it's ready to go. I'm just going to go ahead and do it real quick. Switching to my softest pad I have. Yeah, that looks way better. Get quite the mess here now, but it's all contained in my little area here. So this is after. You can see how much better that looks than before. It's not 100% perfect. I mean, if you were really anal, you could probably pick some stuff out. If you look, there's some haziness in there still. And I could probably polish it a little bit more to get that out. Uh, man, but it looks, I mean, it doesn't look brand new, but it looks, 99% new, so big difference here.
So after this, you just basically need to get it cleaned up. Uh, and then we're gonna do a coat of um, Meguiar's headlight clear coat over it. And I have that coming in the mail in the, in the next couple of days from Amazon. I think it was eight or $9. So I'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them back in the car so we can drive it. And then when it gets here in a couple of days, I'll just pop these back out and prep them and paint them real quick, which is basically just cleaning them, cleaning them off really good so there's nothing on them. And then uh, spraying a couple coats on there. I'll try to get that on the video as well here when I do that. And this took me for this one headlight. I started, started at 10 a.m. and it's 10.51, so I have about 50 minutes in it. Uh, not terrible and uh, you could probably if you had some better tools you could probably go a little faster but if you're going to do this by hand with uh, just hand sanding just keep in mind that's going to be pretty time consuming but it is doable and that would be uh, you know pretty cost effective as well so I think I have about 20 bucks in it with sandpaper so um, and then obviously if you don't have the the pads and stuff for the for your orbital or for the buffer you know or your drill you have to buy those on Amazon but Man, those are well worth the money uh, for this last polish step. I think you can get a kit for like 12 or $13 on Amazon. I'll try to link those in the description as well. All right, guys, well, I apologize. I forgot to uh, turn the camera on. I had it set up and did not hit record and uh, went ahead and sprayed both of them and didn't get any of it on video, but uh, it's pretty straightforward. It's just basically like spray paint anything else. Uh, this was, I got, got this on Amazon, uh, Meguiar's headlight coating. And the instructions kind of tell you to do it in a well-ventilated area, which I recommend because it's pretty fumey stuff. And it says to do medium 50% uh, overlap coats um, and, to do, and to let it dry three to five minutes between coats and just do two of those. And it actually made it even look even better, uh, if you can believe that. There were some little fine kind of cracks and stuff in the, in the lens, and it kind of filled those in. It looks really good. Um, Pretty simple to put down, just don't put it on too wet so you run it. Just get it just thick enough where it looks wet and it dries really fast. So I've got this one done too over here. This one I did get a little bit of a run in. Just slightly, you can kind of see it, not too bad. No one will ever notice it. So I'm gonna throw these back in the car and we'll get an after video here real quick.